In this presentation we're going to continue on with the curve sketching and this time what we're going to look at is horizontal asymptotes. So this complements the stuff we've done on vertical asymptotes. How do we compute the horizontal asymptote? It is the limit as, as x approaches infinity of f of x. Just a quick idea of what a vertical asymptote is, uh, sorry, horizontal asymptote. Suppose we have, this is our xy axis and suppose this is our curve and the it sort of once it comes down here it just gets more and more vert, uh, horizontal such that it's almost approaching this uh, line here this green line but it'll never actually quite touch it and I'll draw that in properly uh, sorry it's not green sorry there we go so it, it almost uh, sort of repeatedly gets closer, uh, consistently gets closer and closer and closer to this green line here, but it never actually quite touches it. Also, actually, just as a quick remark, your curve actually might go to the negative side of the plane as well, uh, the negative side of the xy axis as well. So you might get something like that on the other side. Okay. So this part thing here is what they call a horizontal uh, asymptote. Now. Uh, the thing about asymptotes is there may not necessarily be a vertical or horizontal asymptote. Okay, there might be infinity or something like that. So it's just not really uh, pr uh, practical to think about it. Or. So uh, let's do a few examples here. So this is one we looked at earlier in the previous video. So the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared plus four over x squared minus four. What we're going to do here is divide by the highest power. That would, like, on its own, uh, ordinarily that would give us an indeterminate answer. So we'll go to the highest power and divide through that. Highest power here is x squared. So x squared over x squared plus 4 over x squared, x squared over x squared minus 4 over x squared. That goes to 0. That goes to 0 that becomes 1, uh, x squared over x squared, that becomes 1, that becomes 1. So what we have here is 1 plus 0 over 1 minus 0, the answer to that is just 1. So the asymptote here is 1. I'm just going to flick back here to an earlier example and this is just something from, this is that graph, okay? This is that that is the f of x equals x squared minus or plus four over x squared minus four. That's what we're looking at here. And I've drawn in there the red in red we have the the, the curve and in the green and black we have the asymptote the the hard, the, vert, the vertical asymptotes. What I'm going to draw in here in magenta is the horizontal asymptote. That's it there. Not particularly well sketched there, but there you go. So the um, yeah, essentially, as it goes, as x goes to minus infinity and plus infinity, it just the curve gets closer and closer to the asymptotes. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's go back here now. Uh, second example x over x squared minus 9. Let's get the vertical as, uh, the horizontal asymptotes of that. Limit as x goes to infinity of x over x squared minus 9. Uh, again, we use the same sort of technique. Divide down by the highest power. Limit as uh, x approaches infinity of x over x squared. x squared being the highest power. x squared over x squared minus 9 over x squared. Um, x over x squared, that becomes uh, 1 over x and 1 over infinity when we evaluate it, that's just going to be 0. Likewise that's going to be 0. And x squared over x squared, that will become 1. So what we have here is 0 over 1 minus 0 and that answer is 0. So the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote is zero. Okay. Uh, just as a sort of quick remark, for this example, uh, 
Hang on a second. For this example, vertical asymptotes are plus 3 and minus 3. Okay, so the curve sort of would look like this. So let's draw it out. Uh, put it in. Okay. And that's the one vertical asymptote. This is the other vertical asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote is just the x axis. So I'm just going to sort of draw over it there. It actually is the x-axis, so it should be directly over over it, but we'll uh, just go on with that. And let's just have a quick look at the graph. What does it look like? It looks sort of like this. It's sort of sigmoid. So, And here it goes like this. So, what does the uh, vertical asymptote mean? Essentially, in the long run, out here, the curve here is just going to get closer and closer to the uh, x-axis, or here the asymptote, and likewise out here, x the, the curve is just going to get closer and closer to the x-axis. Okay, in the middle is we're looking it does actually cross the x-axis but that we're not really particularly concerned about that okay it's the long-term behavior in the in the minus infinity direction or that's the minus infinity direction and the plus infinity direction that we're interested in with asymptotes uh, one more quick example uh, let's just do it here nice sort of usual sort of exam question type example um, what do we have uh, f of x equals 4x plus 3 over x minus 7. This will be sort of usual exam standard stuff. Divide down by the highest power. Limit of that. Limit as x approaches infinity of 4x plus 3 over x minus 7. Highest power is x. So we have 4 uh, plus 3 over x. Uh, 1 minus 7 over x. Uh, they become 0 so we have 4 plus 0 over 1 minus 0 and that just works it before okay and there the horizontal at the vertical asymptote would be x minus 7 so it would be 7 okay